All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. The name of the movie is Grease. Listen, if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Well, let's go ahead and just uh, jump into this immediately. <laughs> Guys, you guys help me watch like a romantic movie. Um, uh, all right, let's let's see what this takes us, guys. Danny, don't spoil it. It's not spoiling it, Sandy. It's only making it better. Danny, is this the end? <laughs> of course not. It's only the don't spoil it. All right, well, different times, obviously. Um. All right, guys, I mean, guys, what, what am I supposed to do with this, guys? Guys, this may be one of, like, the best intro, like, songs to a movie ever. Uh, definitely oddly animated. Uh, well, obviously, reminiscent of the time since 1978. <laughs> All right, so basically, apparently those those two grown ass adults that were in the beginning of the movie are playing, most likely with high school students here, guys. All right, this is literally a different person. Uh, so he seems to have an alter ego, guys. So I'm guessing they're they're most likely emulating the the fifties. Um, guys, some of these cars are, are amazing that we're seeing here on the screen. The Pink Ladies, all right. Blanche, do you have the new schedule? Yes, Mr. McKee, I just had my hands on them. Guys, you know what name I haven't heard in a really long time? Blanche, guys. Oh, good, they'll be nice and smudged. Oh, here we are. If it had been a snake, it would have bitten me. Oh. How many days till Christmas vacation? 86. 86? I'm counting. It's your first day of school and you're already counting when you're going to leave, bro. You, like, you don't even know if you like the school. You don't know if you don't like it. You don't really know anything. You're supposed to be in Australia. Uh, may I help you, dear? Oh, yes, this is my first day of school. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be. Oh, well, welcome to Rydell. You'll have to fill out a few of these forms, but can you excuse me for a minute? I'll be right back. Perhaps a session of banging erasers after. Did he call her a putanya, guys? Oh. Uh, so I'm going to guess that he's most likely Italian, uh, and he called her a, a basically a woman that sells her body. School would put you on the right track. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Are you just going to stand there all day? Uh, no, ma'am. I mean, yes, ma'am. I mean, I'm well, just. Well, which um... is it? Yes or no? No, ma'am. Good. Then move. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you didn't take any of her crap, Sonny. Right. You would have really told her off, huh? <laughs> wow, bro. Wow. All right. Let's not do that. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Honestly, from that position, I doubt he saw anything anyway, but but wow, sir. <laughs> You're a sick man, putz. <laughs> that's at least, like, right now, bro, that's probably, like... 395 years in prison right now, guys. At, at least. What did you do this summer, Sandy? Oh, I spent most of it at the beach. I met a boy there. Hauled your cookies all the way to the beach for some guy? Well, he was sort of special. There ain't no such thing. Wow. He was really romantic. Guys, she is super, like, like jaded towards, like, life. Um, hopefully she cheers up a little bit, guys, because if she's, like, the leader of, of that... Uh, pink ladies i don't know why would you follow someone like that uh, she just doesn't seem to like life guys this thing. <laughs> hey guys guys look and j what a coincidence right you just decide somehow magically without any context you have decided right to to move to this town where the guy of your dreams that you spent the entire summer at the beach with is going to school and on the other side of school somehow right Guys, what? All right, let's continue. Put up a fight. Did she put up a fight? Bro, I get it. Times are different, right? But wow, all right? Did she put up a fight, sir? 
All right. Guys, as of right now, this feels like a musical. Um, it feels like that. Because why are they, guys, where did this song just come from? Out of nowhere, they're now doing a whole dance number. I hear John Travolta singing pretty well, right? No complaints about his voice. Uh, definitely much better than that last one that we encountered here on the channel, right? But, all right, sir, we have something. Took a bowling in the arcade. I took her bowling in the arcade as he... Oh, my God. <laughs> no, you didn't, sir. All right. There were your you had no access to her orifices. All right. It was pretty obvious. You're, you're lying for your friends. I, I mean, I get it. You're you're young and you're well, you're playing a young man um, in school, but you absolutely did not take her bowling. <laughs> I, I never heard that saying, bro, and I have no use for it, honestly, but I wish I could find a usage for it because, guys, that is absolutely debaucherous and I love it. Right, and absolutely, I took her bowling in the arcade as he's, mm, you get it, right? Hopefully, do I have to explain it? I'm gonna explain it anyway, guys, All right? Because obviously when you get the, ball, the bowling ball, you have to put your fingers inside the, like the way she's describing it is like, like this super loving like situation. And he's just being like an absolute, like, I don't know, man? <laughs> guys, he's absolutely being a man. Like, that's how we talk to our friends, right? We just embellish just a little bit, right? We have to. It makes us feel better as, you know, as a man, right? It just does. Some. Is it, it's like locker room talk, guys. I mean, it's not to, it's not to be taken serious. You don't, you're not gonna uh, go on a, go on like the, a stand and, and, and say that, yeah, this is exactly what happened. Bro, now you know that this didn't happen like this. Daddy, what are you, what are you doing here? Right. <laughs> I thought you were going back to Australia. We had a change of plan. I did also. I honestly thought that you were going back to Australia, but you're here now, so let's, you know, make this happen. Well, that's cool, baby. Oh, I mean, no. You know how it is. Oh, right no. Oh, he chose the terrible route, guys. He did. All right. I get it. No, I don't. Get it. I do get it. I do get it. Imagine. Like super impressionable, you know, young teenage man, um, just trying to be cool for his friends. He runs into this uh, this woman that he absolutely, for the first time, was able to be himself with, right? And it turns out that he, that he himself is a softy, right? Um, but he's acting tough for his friends. So of course he meets the the woman of his dreams. The, oh, I'm sorry, she's not a woman. In, she's not a woman in real well, in real life. She was honestly, she was probably like 25. I need to basically make it seem like I did all the things that I just lied about in that last song, bro. Bad move, sir. All right. Bad move. Be better. All right. Danny. <laughs> That's my name. Don't wear it out. What's the matter with you? <laughs> What's the matter with me, baby? What's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What happened to the Danny Zuko I met at the beach? <laughs> Whoa. So she laid her eyes on you, eh, Zuko? Wow. She did that on purpose, bro. Right? Like, I wonder if the uh, the Rizzo girl likes Danny, bro. Right? Could that be it? Am I missing something? Because I'm trying to understand why she would do something like that. Right? Um, almost heartless. Right? Like, she knew that if... That, that Danny would not break character. She knew it. She purposely did that. Pretty savage moment there, guys. Can use my virgin pimp. Yeah, it's nice to know. It's good for something. What's that <laughs> for? Frenchie, I really think oh. it's a good idea. Oh, no, it's okay. My father won't Listen, like it. I promise you. Oh! oh! Why would you do that? <laughs> Bro, hold on. That's not how you do it. You just don't take a needle and put it to someone's ear and just... Go. Come on. From Bobby in Korea. Are you going with a Korean? Dummy's a Marine. A Marine? <laughs> She was so disappointed in that, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you sure are a cheap date. No. Well, I didn't mean it the way it came out. I understand. I always thought you were a very understanding person. I am. And I also think that there's more to you than just facts. Wow. Nice. You're welcome. You got Bro, how did you just come out of your mouth? Like, this? how do you just say this? I think that you are amazing. There is definitely more to you than just fatness. Guys, come on. All right, go back to school. That could be an option for you. I'm just going to point this out. That makes seriously be an option for you, right? I mean, um, you had a problem in tinting class. And you, now you have like super bright pink hair. I mean, this is definitely uh, before her, her time. Because I mean, now that would probably be what they would do on purpose. But, but no customer would go to you. 
Unless she was a hooker. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Stay in school. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, guys. <laughs> oh, this, this, is, this is not your guardian angel, bro. This is the bad guy, all right? Um, I mean, honestly, what he's saying is not bad, right? But it's the way he's saying it that is abysmal, right? Because obviously she's going to get out of school one day and then have to do something, right? Um, you know, maybe. Or she just get married and be a housewife, which is perfectly amazing right um but like don't just say that she's gonna be nothing in life guys that's that's wild with the rival crew bro really oh no this is not gonna work well with kaniki and just because the pictures aren't of your faces doesn't mean we can't identify you at this very moment those pictures are on the way to washington where the fbi has experts in this type of identification it bro <laughs> that is not plausible right well, I mean, obviously now we would know that that's really not a thing, but like back then when everything was like the boogeyman, right? Um, yeah, but that's a little ridiculous, guys. Why would the FBI be able to identify someone based off of the, the cheeks of their posterior, guys? Explain that, all right? What did she give him? A lock of hair from her chest? <laughs> <laughs> guys, the, when the jokes hit, they hit, all right? Um, congratulations to whoever wrote this, bro. I'm, I'm just seeing two of you, man. <laughs> hey, hey. Bro, how did he hit his head and then wake up drunk, bro? Let me know. Bro. Bro, listen, that's not how you treat a 49 Mercury, bro. All right? Treat it better and with respect, okay? That's disrespectful. Even for a movie, that's disrespectful. All right, do better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, let's do that. I need to understand. Like, what can you do to change your happiness um, that the beautician can actually help you with? Most likely, a, like a makeover or something, right? Based off of the context. Of you must start a new okay, so this is like this moment. Okay, now, now that I'm looking at it and hearing the um, the song behind it. Okay. She realized something while watching him, like, well, while watching Danny in his element. What she realized is maybe I shouldn't do what a lot of women do, right? And expect the guy to change. He's probably not going to ever, right? Seriously, he'll be the same, period, right? So how about this? How about I just accept him? It is what it is, right? She likes him so much that she is willing to change herself. That's what she's basically saying in the song here. Um, she will become someone different and someone that fits more into the overall culture that, that Danny is surrounded within, right? But all right, solid, no complaints. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? All right, so when we when she was basically saying goodbye to Sandra Lee, right, a couple of moments ago, um, I was expecting something not as extreme as this. All right, just saying, right? Um, wow, as they both just changed. Okay, guys, this music is too phenomenal. Guys. I need the whole soundtrack. I'm gonna I'm gonna have this once we're done with this. I'm gonna listen to the soundtrack multiple times, guys. This is intriguing. Um, musically, the uh, this this is absolutely phenomenal. Musically, it's just great. Um, the overall acting was solid too. No complaints throughout, right? Um, I see we're coming to the end here. Yeah, she changed a whole lot for him. He obviously just took off his Letterman's jacket and was just like, bro, nah, I'm just gonna be exactly who I am. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll give their friendship probably two and a half years after high school. 
at max, all right? Because realistically, you always being together is not really a thing, okay? Um, someone is going to go do something and it's going to split all of you guys up, all right? It is what it is, happens all the time. This is just life. I don't want to be the, I don't want to be the downer here, all right? But just, you know, let's be realistic here, okay? It won't be forever. Bro, what's happening? Bro, was this, a, was this even real? Was this a dream state that they were in? Because, listen, the whole movie, okay, um, there wasn't any bit of, like, fantastical stuff other than Sandy coming in, moving miraculously to this Rydell High, guys. I am confused, right? <laughs> like, I feel like the ending is not perfect right um and it's confusing it's definitely confusing to me because i don't understand why they're now like flying off into the sky it doesn't make any sense uh, i'm trying to quantify it but i can't i just it just cannot be just you know it doesn't make any sense to me all right why are they flying off into the sky the whole movie was not about any type of like like science fiction or anything like that why are they flying off in the sky? <laughs> um, maybe this isn't real. It's too perfect. The ending is too... I don't know. Maybe it is perfect. The ending is too... Odd. Right? Like, I've never seen anything like this. Why... Like, what school holds a senior carnival, guys? I don't know. Maybe this is a dream. Could be. Let's see. Let's see if they break it and they, they explain to us that this is a dream or something, guys, because I don't know. I am. Bro, they just ended it and didn't give us no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Okay. Well, all right. <laughs> uh, purely based off of the ending, I don't know if I like this movie um, because I cannot. I don't understand what I just what I just encountered. Like, was this a dream? Was this real? Uh, maybe one of them died, right? Could no? Maybe all of them are dead, guys. What, what's happening? Maybe when they were at Thunder Road, um, Danny did not make it, and everything else past that is a is a dream, right? I'm trying to think because I'm trying to think of what incident in the movie. I don't know. Maybe the whole thing was because of, of the beginning, maybe. The beginning was odd, too. I don't know. I'm so confused. I, I... <sighs> Musically, it's great. But I do think that this didn't happen. No, I, I just don't think that it's real. Right? Um, they messed it up for me at the end. Okay? But all right, listen, let me know in the comments if I should be checking out any more of these movies. And I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right? Listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy it thoroughly.